people ask me, has tracking improved in Motion 4? And I'm not one to say it has improved much, if at all. But we're going to go over have a little tracking series. And in this first video, we're going to show you the basic, just basically doing a really simple way of tracking something. And um, after that, we'll go into different ways of doing it, okay, and talk about it more in depth. So we're going to track this little footage here. You can see it's pretty wild footage. Pretty good little movement there. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to select the track. I want to track his mouth. So I'm going to go to Add Behavior, Motion Tracking, Analyze Motion. Now there's several ways to do this. I'm just showing you a fast, easy way. And when I click Analyze Motion, I'll get this little crosshair that I can click on and drag around and it magnifies everything for me. I'll also get the same magnification view over in my inspector. If you hold your Option key, you'll, you'll, a bunch of little red crosshairs will come up and those are just good tracking markers, good tracking points, okay? And I want to you don't have to use those, but those are just their help, motion there helping you out. I want to track the corner of the mouse, so I'm going to select one of these tracking markers, okay? Or I'm just going to go in here and stick it where I want. So I'll just select a tracking marker, and I'm going to hit it there. Now that we've got it set, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to hit the Analyze button. Now, in future videos, we'll talk about how we can add more than one tracker and using them and all that good stuff and all these settings. But this is just a simple, straightforward, throw it on there and get it done. So now let's set analyze, hit analyze. Now as you can see, it's going through and it seems to be sticking pretty well. Let's see if it can hold it all the way to the end. And it looks as if she's going to hold for us. And she does. And she's tracked really well, as you can see, it tracks right along there. So let's, you know, add something to track to it there. What good is that uh, motion tracking data if we don't use it? So let's go to our um, library and let's bring in a particle. Let's see here. What can I? Let's how about some cartoon smoke? I'm gonna click my cartoon smoke and I'm going to apply it. And there is our cartoon smoke. But we want our cartoon smoke to go along with our track. So that's simple enough. Let's select our cartoon smoke, add behavior, motion tracking, match move. Okay, now let's go to our inspector and look at our match move properties. In our source well, we have our footage, and that's not what we want. We want our match move to match the movement of our analyzed motion that we done earlier. So I'm going to go to this little drop down and select the analyzed motion behavior that we tracked. Okay, and that will set that to that. Now I'm going to come over here to the viewport and drag this little particle right up to the spot that I want it to stick to. I want it to stick to his mouth there. Like that. And I'm going to hit play. And as you can see, it sticks right there like he's smoking. <laughs> and it sticks really well. Really, really well. Motion does a great job. So this is just an introductory video of tracking and how it gets done and what to look forward to. There's a lot more we can go over when it comes to tracking. But as you can see, the basics of motion tracking does well in motion. So let me show you one more example. Let's get a new file here. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to make a shape. Just draw a circle. Okay. Like so. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my record button select my shape and I'm going to hit play with the record button on and drag this shape around just to create some movement. Now we have some pretty erratic movement in there. Let's stop it. Turn off our record key. We'll set an out point. Command option O. And now we have this little circle going around and let's add even a little bit more movement to it than that. Let's select it. Go to the inspector under properties under the position, right click and give it a randomized behavior. That will really randomize the movement, if you see. Now it's really wild. Okay? Really fast. So now let's use the new link behavior to demonstrate how you can use that to track something. So let's go to our library. Let's get a, let's get a particle. Let's, let's, let's try some magic dust or magic magic wand. Magic dust looks okay. So let's apply our magic dust. Okay, now our magic dust is in the scene. It's right here. Okay. I'm going to move it right up there, like that. So now I want that to follow that little circle. 
No problem. Slick our magic dust. Go to go to the inspector. Under the properties tab, there'll be a position. Right click, select link. Okay. Now in our source object, we're going to put our circle. Now when we hit play, look at there. Our magic wand particle is like stuck to that sucker like glue. No matter how jittery and random you try to make it. Isn't the new link behavior just something that just works so wonderful when it comes to little things like tracking? I mean, when it comes to tracking an object now, for doing something simple like this, I'll just use the link behavior. So there's two simple beginning introductory ways to track in motion. I look forward to the next few videos and going deeper with you guys. Thanks for watching.